Okay, let's try Brute. Because it felt like Brute was fine. It's just going after the Wraith is a bad move. We gotta get we gotta get an axe here. Minotaurs and vampire lords. I don't know what I'm going after. I feel like this is done by the same studio that made Epic Manager. It wasn't Epic Manager. They've done a bunch of other uh, games, but they did. I don't think they worked on Epic Manager. Block, draw card. Let's go with Meat Sword. Okay, I could probably fight a zombie. Let's see them dodge my attack. Okay, and let's mulligan this for... I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting. But I guess this is fine. Oh! Oh, I see! Brutes can't dodge or block. Okay, so that's... That's how this character works. That rule was not immediately obvious to me. Okay, we get Smash level 3, or Life Drain level 1. I gotta go smash level 3. Yeah, don't try to block. I'm learning this properly. Brute really is a face tank. Mulligan. Oh, slime dies fast. Okay, do we have a level 3? Undead Barbarian. Yeah, I'm trying to maximize how fast I level here. Oh, uh, this is probably fine. Smash. Yeah. Alright. Pure damage on Brute. Seems to be working pretty well for me. Reveal or starting AP. And I still don't have a whole lot of money, so let's head for the Centaur. Okay, start battle. So we've got Dexterity for some extra AP. So I can smash a Centaur. I can really smash a Centaur. Wow. That hit him hard. And yeah, gotta remember, I can't block. Can't dodge, either! And unfortunately, the extra AP does not make much of a difference here. It'd be nice if I could actually increase the amount of, uh... It'd be nice if I could increase the amount of, like, health regen I got. Like, if it's scaled per level. Oh, that'd be nice. Okay, so let's view wares. I gotta get this. Physical damage versus large. Physical damage for attack and temp thunderstorm. Uh, so goal is get 40 gold before we're done with his dungeon. Okay, let's mulligan this. I don't know if that's better. Why is he attacking first? Or does mulliganing uh, sack, your, sack your turn advantage? I don't know. an interesting question. It would have liked to get that life drain ability. Hopefully we get another one that costs more. That was easy. Or costs more works works better. Okay. I don't want to go after the Wraith yet. Let's go after the merchant. Okay, view wears. He has a life drain level one, improvise. I want to get the spider weaver cleaver. Because this is part of the reason why we're having trouble. Let's go after the undead rogue. Start battle. Yeah, the extra crit chance from Crush is really cool. Yeah, 1% crit chance, though. That is very minimal. Also, it doesn't matter that much. Okay, so I've leveled up. We can get Glory Kill or Crush 3. Okay. I like the idea of glory kill for the extra healing. Also fame. Campfire seems to give you things that make future combats more useful. Unless you're misunderstanding it. Uh, I haven't seen it help that much. I feel like crush three is good. 
Glory kill can be helpful, but I do too much damage. Let's go crush three. And fine, let's go check the campfire. Alright, camp here. Draw a card, draw a card. Fishbone. Yeah, so uh, the point of the campfires is you... It, it's effectively gambling. Smash or peek. Let's go peek. Blood, blood knife. Five point palm. The enemy immediately loses 5 HP. Upgrade this card only if it defeats an enemy. I'm going to get 5 point palm. That sounds really weird. The heart sounds good. Okay, extra starting AP or let's upgrade a card at this point. So, let's start upgrading crush. Having a bunch of higher level crushes seems like a good idea. Okay, he has a less good axe. Yeah, I'd like to get some of these. It'd be cool if I could actually sell a card to this guy. Okay. No thank you. I don't even use mana here. Alright. So, do I go after the wraith now? Yeah, I have to go after the wraith first. Alright. Start battle. It doesn't help that much, but it doesn't have resistance to that damage. We're just going to have to rely on crit and some other things. Maybe kind of sort of meat sword for this one. Uh, do we... Nah. Keep wailing on him. Selling cards in deck builder would be broken. Gear would make more sense. He is true. Okay, so I have 5 AP. So I guess I can just hit him with whatever. I don't know if I'm going to survive this one. Unfortunately, the Wraith is such a ridiculous hard counter to everything that my character is. It's actually kind of infuriating. Uh, just straight up resistance to physical damage on an enemy that you kind of have to fight to even win. Undead concentrate and attack one. All right. Well, it's heal six, attack, smash, meat sword up another attack. Eh, we might survive this one, just barely. And I might be able to get him with 5-point palm, if I'm lucky. I don't know how lucky I am. I've got a end turn. Okay, 7 physical damage, 8 to 12. Can't kill him, so we can kill him with 5-point palm, which gets me exploding heart. That's good. Now let's go after the undead cleric. Mulligan. Smash. Perfect. Let's see. I could go after the other Skele Mage, but that could get me killed. Let's go after this one. Everyone be careful. Mulligan. Okay, so we get Concentrate for a heal. We get some hefty attacks. Okay, do we want Slime or Skele Mage? Level 4. Well, let's go to the Merchant first. Now, I could heal. What do you guys think? Do we risk it to try and get the... Oh. Let's get the Cleaver and the Hunk of Meat. And then I'm going to go after this Skeleton Mage. Because I think the slime is a little bit more dangerous. Unfortunately, we're on death's door here. Okay. Uh, start battle. Smash. 
other smash. Didn't kill him. Peek. Can't do anything. I doubt he's gonna kill me on this round. Okay, we're good. We're good. He dies. We level up. We're not dead. Hand size is up to four cards. Now, I could go after the slime, but I think I'm just going to go after the Minotaur here. I'm not going to risk it for anything. Okay, start battle. Crush, smash, attack, attack. Alright, he's already halfway down. Alright, peak. So he's just got attack. Keb doesn't really change too much of about my build here. I'm going to hold on to the hunk of meat, because unfortunately a hunk of meat uh, deletes itself from my deck. And I can probably save that for the next run. Can I equip the axe I found? No. Yes, and also no. Boosh! That heart is good. Alright, I level up again. Uh, let's see. Find an item. I don't know what the item is, but I want to start grabbing stuff. Okay, so we rank up. Replace attack two and improvise cards with smash and crush. Or improvise with dexterity two in the future. Eh, could be okay. Is there a monk class? Ah. Replaces an attack one with an Iron Fist one. Does this achievement screen ever get any deeper? I'm not entirely sure. Well, we should probably get health potion. Because bosses are guaranteed to drop an item. Yeah. I got to keep going for those, honestly. Okay, so let's grab the Hella Cleaver. Starting AP now. Sell the junk items. I'm going to sell the Dwarven Hood and honestly the Helm of Storm. They're not going to help me that much. The gold per battle is kind of nice. Let's have the gold per battle for now. But yeah, now we've got some things. Spider Queens and Skeletal Champions. That sounds beatable. This place has a foul. Stench in the air. Use Meat Sword for the boss. I feel like you don't use them. Yeah, I don't use them as much as I should. I've also got to upgrade the uh, Rogue a little bit. Alright. Let's go after the level 7. Scales up fast. Ugh. Let's mulligan this. I have Thunder Slam? What? Oh. It's probably from Shell. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. Well, we're fine. It actually doesn't feel like the uh, the bat scales up, I guess, as much as I thought he did. I did get him. And I missed. And I guess I'll just hit him again. Let's see. Did you know you can right-click twice for the meat? I actually forgot about that. Okay, so peak. Life drain focus. Okay, can't do much about that. That's fine. Okay, I get a little bit of money. Now I should probably go after the level 8 spider. I might die. Who knows? Uh, Nah, let's go for this. Having crush, multiple crush early on would be pretty helpful. Okay, we do have the exploding heart. Which means he'll die as long as I, as long as I don't have to discard it. Alright, smash, attack two, exploding heart, he dies, discards, I level up. Enough. Well in your hand, and the enemy's and the enemy's turn, draw two two cards if six or more cards have been played. Interesting. Now nah, let's upgrade one of mine. Let's see. So I can increase Crush. 
three more physical damage, three more physical damage. It's really just how much crit I want to roll. Otherwise, we could uh, upgrade one of the attacks to do three more physical damage. Or upgrade Smash to do that much more. The counter seemed really useful. It is. Oh, the one thing is upgrading Crush does increase the cost. Or not the cost. The Well, yeah, the AP cost. I've got good AP, but still. Oh, I thought Thunder Slams from the Axe. You know you're probably correct on that one. Let's up... Cr uh, let's get Crush 3. And then start exploring down. I'll leave the healer this time. A mercenary who has the exact same deck as me. That's interesting. It's worrying, because he's got Exploding Heart and a couple other, like, really strong moves if he gets the chance to use them. Which is scary. Let's heal up. Peak Dexterity. Hunk of Meat. Attack. Meat Sword Smash. Okay, we get some treasures. Alright, gain a card, gain 20 gold. Gain a card, Flying Potion. It's unfortunate, because that's actually pretty good. Bone Breaker. Discards all support cards. Or Shield Break. Let's do Bone Breaker. That seems, that seems pretty helpful. Okay, so at this point, plus two starting AP should be, like, really helpful. Now let's head for the troll. Natural armor and HP regeneration, it can take a lot of damage. Goody. Weak versus fire. And recovers ten. All right. The fu- Ah, oh, come on! Oh, I should have hit him with a crush first. I went in the wrong direction. Okay, crush. Bone breaker. Flying potion. Which is gone now, but whatever. So you shell. End turn. Oh, right. Flying Potion does dick all for me. I forgot about that. I gotta get rid of those improvises on this deck. This character specifically is not helped by their existence. Ugh. Getting through his regeneration is just pain. Maybe I should have gone... No, Glory Kill... Ugh. And I don't have anything else. He's probably going to kill me. Nope, he's not going to kill me. I barely kill him. Alright, Captain has. That's, we don't need any more AP right now. Let's get Bone Breaker. Paladin has. Perseverance. Always perseverance. I could have gone for the 20 XP, but it'd be better that I go for the healer at this point. So let's heal to full. Okay, and go for the griffin. Maybe I should have gone for the slime. Not entirely sure. Let's start with this, because we need Perseverance, Draw, Crush, Attack, Exploding Heart. Yeah. 
And those regeneration cards are just the dirtiest on the troll. They're scary. I mean, obviously, fire damage is a direct counter to them, but if you don't have any fire damage, what's the, what's the point? Come on! How many cards is he able to play? Okay, will we level up? Alright, so... Well, there's regeneration. Speaking of... Let's go check this out. Yeah, if only I could start with those. Max HP, up by 30, lose two starting action points. That's scary. No thanks. Yeah, now I have regeneration. Okay. Uh, it's mulligan. Hopes of getting it. No, we get crush instead. Which I guess is better. I think that's the first time I've ever crit in this game. Deep wound. Bleed six. Draw a card. Mighty hit. Bone breaker. Attack, attack. A yeah, discard deck would be kind of lovely at some point. Well, we're doing okay. No, we're not. Let's go after the slime. Mulligan again. There it is. Perseverance, regeneration, crush, dexterity, crush again. Okay, so now I'm going to regenerate 11. And this guy's got physical resist. So he's banishing my attacks, but that's fine. It's no, he's doing too much damage. I was gonna say this might almost be a good opportunity to heal, but no, this this slime is putting me through more of a ringer than I thought he was going to. Okay, so now we go after the level 6 spider. Level up again. Mulligan again. Alright. Bone breaker. Heal 6. Crush. Smash. Well, it's almost dead. And I'll level up after this. Beak doesn't seem that useful. Uh... The main reason why I went with Peak was I could potentially look at what they have. So Deadly Poison would be really good for a Poisoner deck. But let's delete a card. Let's get rid of one of the... Well... Let's get rid of one of the attack... Uh, attack ones. Now let's go fight a Wraith. Mulligan. There's, there it is. Okay. Bonebreaker. Regeneration. Dexterity. Thunderslam. Attack. Be hilarious if we could actually uh, come out of this with full health. I don't think I'm going to, though. Okay. Exploding Heart. I'm going to come out of this with a fair amount of HP. Because this guy doesn't do as much damage. His main... His main... Well, I mean, he does do damage here. I actually ran out of mana for once. Or not mana, AP. I guess I usually don't get all of my crushes in one go. Crush, smash, attack. We're doing surprisingly well against this dude. What? Was that? I love 
of a dull week I used to be. I just exploded for like a hundred something damage. Select your character. What if I don't want to? I mean, we're doing well with the brute, but like, need a little firepower. I don't want to. No. No.